Can we achieve our transport targets? Yes, sure we can. It is very important to create smart business models that can help to connect different players that will really help to achieve our transport goals. For accelerating a sustainable transportation future. The Raza is an electric car. It has electric motors in all four wheels, but it doesn't have any batteries. This car differs from most of the zero emission cars that are available today. Although it is an electric car, it runs on hydrogen. It produces water as an exhaust product. There are no carbon emissions. My name is Hugo Spowers, and I'm the founder and MD of River Simple Movement. This is the fuel cell, this is the heart of the vehicle. Hydrogen is pumped into the fuel cell and is turned into electricity. It's exactly the process of electrolysis but in reverse. So in the school experiment you put in electricity into water and out comes hydrogen and oxygen. In a fuel cell you put in the hydrogen and oxygen and out comes electricity and water. This electricity then runs through these high voltage cables where it generates power in the wheels. My name is Johnny Price. I am a vehicle technician here at River Simple. The vehicle is all made of carbon fibre. It's very, very strong material. It's very low maintenance. It doesn't rust. It's very lightweight. It's lighter than steel, but it's equally as strong. Making the jig up yeah. that mounts onto... The we don't argue about whether solar PV or wind turbines are going to win the renewable energy race. They're just different and we need them both. And the same is absolutely true of batteries and hydrogen. We can decarbonise much quicker if we pursue both battery and hydrogen cars alongside. Battery cars are great for short range, regular duty cycles. But for longer range or high utilisation, battery cars become increasingly inconvenient you have to plan your day or your week around your charging schedule. This is where hydrogen cars become much more practical. It's really easy to refuel. You just park up, you attach the nozzle, press the button, and then you wait for three to five minutes. I'm Sarah Gore, and I'm the trial analyst at River Simple. When it stops, it tells you, put the hatch back on and drive away. Really simple. Put a filling station in a small city or a large town. Anybody has a reason to come into that city once a week. That's why it has a 300 mile range, to be at least a week's use of fuel. The way we're consuming raw materials at the moment is really unsustainable. We're probably the only car company in the world that hopes never to sell a car. We will only ever sell a subscription service, so customers will typically sign up for a three-year contract, much like leasing a car today. We're moving completely away from the take, make, dispose way of doing things. Our customers will pay one monthly subscription that includes insurance, servicing, maintenance, fuel, breakdown recovery, everything. We're motivated then to make a car that lasts as long as possible ultimately meaning we reduce our waste and we reduce the amount of raw materials that we need. From selling cars to selling mobility as a service is a critical part of building a sustainable transport system. The whole company is designed to bring cars to market that have the lowest possible environmental impact. By thinking on supply chain as linear processes, we have created a very unsustainable path that has very big implications across the globe. By transforming that linear process into a circular process, we have a much better understanding of the impact of our actions in the environment and vice versa. The manufacturing model is based around the fact that we're making these cars out of carbon fibre rather than steel and the optimal scale for a plant is about 5,000 cars a year rather than 300,000. 
These plants will each employ about 200 to 220 people. This means that we can bring jobs into communities that are far too small to support large-scale modern manufacturing. By having a local supply chain, suppliers are probably going to be more reactive and responsive, and so you can respond to challenges much more quickly and efficiently. Oh, there we go. Obviously it's better for the environment because if you're closer together there's going to be less transport, less energy used, it's better for the local community. We're working with other vehicle providers, finance providers, infrastructure partners to build an alliance to demonstrate this strategy for bringing hydrogen to market at a local scale. Our interests are aligned completely with those of our customers and our interests are aligned with policy makers and the environment. The more efficient we are, the more we conserve resources, the more value we recover at end of life of cars, the cheaper it is for customers. This makes sustainability profitable. This circular model can be a win-win for businesses in all sorts of sectors because it's more profitable delivering lower environmental impact and lower total cost of ownership to, to customers than selling product. If the governments are saying we need to invest in electric vehicles or hydrogen, that is a really, really critical signal for startups, existing businesses, people who manufacture those things. The more we can scale up and ramp up capacity and production, the cheaper it becomes and then we can quickly flip the economics.